What's up, y'all? What's up? We back with another video. I've been missing. Um, like I said, I haven't been making videos, but I'm gonna be making videos. Try to be consistent, but um, at least if it's not five minutes or six minutes, I'm gonna try to make it consistent. But I want to talk about today. I really enjoyed today. I'm gonna give you a caption of today, and um, I really enjoyed church service today. I had church service, but I really enjoyed it. I was really blessed. The spirit was really high, and it was just a really good church service, and I really enjoyed it. I feel good being at this church that I met. The lady that I've been at because I've been going there for a few Sundays, but I, I just started going there for a few Sundays because I was at another church, but I enjoyed it and um, I loved it. I loved it. I mean, I love the church service. It was really good. And I mean, the spirit was high. The preacher was really good. And I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And I mean... Like, I really loved it. That's all I can say. I know I keep saying that I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. But I do. I really loved it. And like you said, this is probably one of the rare videos I'll make. Um, but I'm going to be posting preaching videos and church service videos. But I really loved it. And it was really good. And I was really encouraged. I was really uplifted. The spirit was really high. And it was just really a sweet aroma, a, really, a sweet spirit in the place and i mean i really enjoyed it and i mean god was in the house god was really in the house and he was there he was present and you could really feel the presence of god the preacher was really good like i said and like i said like i really needed god to do something and i really felt like when he was preaching i really felt like god was really working and speaking and speaking and encouraging me and you know like i, I really needed to be encouraged and like i really was encouraged you know my uncle he had preached and like i planned for like I'm playing, like I'm really, like I'm really in a good place because I'm praying for my family, I'm praying for my auntie and my, and my cousin, and I loved it, and I loved the church service, and I mean the spirit was there, like he was there, and I really enjoyed it, and it was really good. Like that's all I can say. It was really, really good, and my whole family came. We was at church. Well, not my whole family, but some of my family was at church today, and it was really, really good. And I'm telling you, like, like I'm telling you, the spirit was there, and like I, that's all I can say. And like I, before, and I'm about to close the video in a minute, but it was really, really good. Like I just really enjoyed it. The choir was really good. Everything was really, really good, and I loved it. And I'm telling you, like, like I said, God was in the house. And I'm telling you, and I also came to tell you that before I leave, I wanted to tell you to tell everybody that you know that we're trying to get this channel out there. Tell them to follow me. Uh, on YouTube, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is write it down. My Instagram is what it is underscore thirteen. What it is underscore thirteen. And my YouTube channel, is, you can either type in Trevor Griffin, but it's gonna be hard to find it. So if you can't type that in, just type in Bohemia Rhapsody uh, by Trevor Griffin, and that's my cover that I did singing. And just tell your friends, tell everybody that you know to look at that video, and and to try and get it out there. And yeah, and also, I wanted to leave you with this scripture. I want to leave you, leave you with the scripture, um, um, Exodus, where it said, um, Moses said, where the Israelites were at the Red Sea, Moses said, Be still and see the salvation of the Lord. The Lord shall fight for you. You need only to be still. And there's another scripture that says that God is able. To do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think by the power that's at work within us. So many times, especially now, people doubt God and they doubt him to the point where they don't believe that he's able. But the Bible says that he's able. And so the Bible also talks about having faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. So in order to know that he's able, you have to have faith and believe and know that he's able. And not just because of what he's done. But just because of who he is. And that's the thing about it. Is that you have some Christians who believe. Or a lot of Christians. It's what some Christians believe that. Um, even if he don't do anything else. Which is which is true. Which is right. That, uh, if he don't do anything else. He's already done enough. Which is so right. But you have some people that are looking for signs. And for wonders. And they are looking for a God to do something. In order for them to believe. But you have to just know and step out on faith because the Bible talks about um, Peter. 
it Peter? Peter, yeah, Peter. And Jesus, when he came towards Jesus on the sea, on the on the water, and Jesus told him to walk on the water. He got out. He got out of the boat, and he walked on the water, and he came towards Jesus. But then he got distracted in the winds and the waves, and then he began to sink instantly. Now I'm paraphrasing. I'm not, listen. I'm paraphrasing. I'm not saying word for word with this one, but I'm paraphrasing because I don't know the exact scripture. I don't, I don't want to quote the scripture wrong, but he was started to sink. And as he started to sink, he started and he started to drown. But listen, this was the important part was I ain't even read the scripture in a while, but I'm still but I'm remembering now. Jesus said, Peter, he said, Why did you die? Why did you take your eyes off me? That's what he just what Jesus was saying. I'm paraphrasing, remember I'm paraphrasing. He said, Why did you take your eyes off me? Why did you die? And then he took Peter's hand and he lifted, Jesus lifted him out of the water. And that's what I'm saying. Is that if we keep our eyes on Jesus. Because listen, in the Bible, God responded to faith in 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 a lot of scriptures. Uh, one city he came to, they didn't believe, and so Jesus left. Jesus left in Bethsaida in the Bible. He responds to faith, and God is able. And, and so a lot of the times, God will perform miracles. Even even God performed miracles for everybody. He performed miracles for everybody that we have, don't even notice for the believers and the unbelievers. Like he performs for everybody that we don't even notice. He he allows us to be alive. He wakes us up in the morning. He starts us on our way. He he gives us food to eat. He provides for us, gives us shelter. All this is because of Jesus. You gotta understand that God performed a miracle by even in the by, in the Bible when it said, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And he said, Let there be light, and there was light that was instantly. That's a miracle. That's a miracle. That's a miracle right there because he spoke and everything came into existence. And that's how we have what we have right now. So I want to close with that. Just a little excerpt. But like, comment, and subscribe. Share to everybody that you know. And yeah. Peace out.